Hi guys, it's Lynn with Curiosity Crochet. I thought we would do a little something different today. Um, this is a baby blanket that I have worked up. Full of dog hair, you know, like always. But um, I thought we would try something different instead of just doing hats all the time. I figured we'd switch it up a little bit. But this is a real pretty pattern. It works up real easy and it actually is just a one row, one row repeat. So it's not hard. I'll walk you through it. Now I already made the actual blanket, but I'm going to show you the stitch and then let you go with it. And then we're going to work up the border together because I'm doing a real pretty border on this. That's why I decided to do the video because I thought this would be really nice to share with you guys and it would be fun for something different. So today for this it's going to be super easy if my camera would come into focus. It's going to be super easy. You just need whatever yarn you want to use uh, for stuff projects like this uh, blankets and and stuff that's just like a big piece. You can use whatever yarn you want, whatever weight you want. I am actually using Lion Brand Scarfy. It is a five weight. It is really soft. This is a really soft yarn. It recommends a six and a half. Now I used a six on mine. I went a size lower. So if you want to do that on whatever yarn you use, just to keep the stitch a little tighter since it's a baby blanket. But you could make this in a big blanket too. It doesn't have to be a baby blanket. You could take this stitch and do whatever you want with it. I just figured I'd share the baby blanket that I was making. My sister-in-law is having a baby girl in April. And I just thought this would be a really nice gift. And the colors aren't don't scream girl, but they're real pretty and it's a soft color. So I thought... Hey, why not? I had it and I actually got this yarn as a gift from my husband for Valentine's Day and he got me three skeins of it, which was perfect for a baby blanket. Like, I'm actually going to have some leftover. I might make a scarf with the leftover because I didn't make this real big because it's just, it's going to be an initial like baby blanket. So like for when she's real little or she can use this to put over the car seat, stuff like that. And then I'll make her another one as the baby gets bigger but enough about that so yeah there is 312 yards in one skein of these and I only used about two and a half skeins probably not even half two and a quarter maybe so say that you'd need maybe at the most 800 yards and then for the border which this is going to be a, a real it's a little bit of a fancy border, so I would say that you'd still need about 800 to 900 yards for the entire thing. So, or if you, like I said, if you want to make a big blanket, I mean, you'd probably need, I mean, this isn't a real big yarn eater, so I wouldn't worry about that. But, um, my camera is being funky tonight again. Because I was too close up and now it won't come into focus. I'm really sorry, you guys. I'll try to get this under control. But so get your yarn and get your hook. Make sure you have scissors. You don't need a tape measure this time because you don't really need to measure anything. Uh, because you're just going to eyeball it. You, even if you're making a big one, you just kind of want to make it be um, however long and wide you want it to be. So go ahead and gather your materials and I'll get myself situated and I'll show you the stitch. Okay, now that we're all situated and hopefully I got my camera working properly, I'm really sorry about that guys. I, I'm still using my phone as my camera and sometimes it just doesn't want to cooperate. And I'm trying to get my hands on a better camera but sometimes the money's just not there so I hope you guys understand that but um just one thing else i wanted to add uh the size i'm using for the blanket 
is I'm going to go a size up. So the recommended size of the yarn for the border. Just so that it makes it nice and floofy. So anyways, we'll jump into showing you the pattern. Um, you're going to start with a slip knot on your hook. However you do that. And you want to work in a multiple of four. So what that means is four plus four plus four plus four. Until you get it to the... This is going to be the width of your project. So however wide you want it to be. Whether you're making a baby blanket or a big blanket. Just make sure it's a multiple of four. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I got distracted by something and I just... I had to get refocused. <laughs> Anyways, so you're going to... I'm going to do it on a small scale. But I'm going to do... 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. My yarn is getting stuck here. I need to count this. <laughs> Fifteen and sixteen. Wow, I, maybe I shouldn't have made a video tonight. <laughs> anyway, so now we're gonna skip the first three chains, and this never counts as anything. The loop that's on your hook counts as nothing. So you're gonna skip this chain, this chain, and this chain. So in your fourth one, one, two, three. In your fourth one. We're going to put two double crochets, both in the same chain there. I would suggest working in your third loop on this one, just so that when we do the border, you have something to work into, and it, it leaves a very clean edge. Instead of working into the, into the chain this way, you just flip it over and you have a third loop. So you would count in this way, one, two, three, and then in this fourth one here, you would put the two double crochets. Just so that it leaves a nice clean edge to work into. Because when you do it that way, it almost resembles the top of a, of a stitch instead of it being kind of messy and depending on if you work in you know, the top two loops, or if you just work in one, this just tends to give it a nice clean edge. So then what we're going to do is we're going to skip three s stitches, or th chains, I'm sorry. So one, two, three, and then we're going to single crochet in here. We're going to chain one, and then right back into that same chain, we're going to put three double crochets. So yarn over, go in there, and put three double crochets in there. This yarn is so stuck up on itself. It's stuck up, you guys. It's totally fetched. <laughs> it's... But anyways, then we're going to skip three again. One, two, three. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go in there and we're going to single crochet. We're going to chain one. And then we're going to put three double crochets. All in that same stitch. Now this is the setup for it. And then when we go on to the next row... That'll be your repeat. So now when you reach the end, now I have a short one, so you can go ahead and go all the way across just repeating that single crochet, chain one, three double crochets, skipping three, and then doing that again. Single crochet, chain one, three double crochets, all the way till the end. And then when you get to the end, you'll have four stitches left. So you're gonna skip those three, and then you're going to end with a single crochet in that very last chain. Now, you'll always end with a single crochet. 
in in every row you'll always end in a single so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain three one two three and what I suggest is make sure you leave this third one a little loose because we're always gonna work that's where that single crochet is gonna go into is that third chain so you want to leave that a little loose then you'll turn your work and then right here in this first stitch, this one that's right below there, you're going to put in two double crochets. One and two. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to skip one, two of these double crochets from that little shell from previous. We're going to skip two. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a front post through this third one but we're gonna do a single crochet front post so we're just gonna go underneath like this pull up a loop and finish your single crochet now you're gonna chain one and then we're in this chain one space that's behind it because remember we did a single crochet in the three doubles with a chain in between it we're going to work into this chain space back here. So now that you've put that single crochet, you can see that there's like a space behind it. Like if you look at it, there's a space behind. That's where we're going to work. And we're going to put three double crochets in there. One, two, and three. And this is the row we're going to repeat. So this is it. This is it right here. Now we're going to skip the rest of this here. We're skipping that single and we're skipping the next two and we're jumping right over to this double crochet here and we're going to do that single crochet front post. So you're going to go in and underneath that post and come out the other side and you're going to do your single crochet. You're going to chain one, and then you've got that chain one space behind it now. And you're going to put those three double crochets in there. One, two, and three. Okay, then when you come to the end here, you'll have those two double crochets in your chain three, and you're going to come over here and you're going to single crochet into the top of that chain three which will pull this over and then that's what you you'll start getting that pretty texture along the way here now yours will be bigger than mine so you'll see it more let me show you in the blanket that i've got but see as it goes across you get that pretty texture and it's kind of a, a climbing, it's a climbing shell because if you can see this, it goes this way and then it goes that way and then it goes back this way and it kind of climbs as it goes along. So it kind of goes back and forth the way you're doing it and it just turns out real pretty. So let's go over that one more time because that's your repeat. So we're always going to chain three, one, two. And remember, leave this third one a little loose so that you can work into it. And you're going to turn. Now, you're always going to start with two double crochets in this first one. And you're always going to end with a single crochet in the turning chain. So, we're going to start with those two doubles. Yarn over. Go in. And do your double. Do your second double. And now we're going to jump over here. We're going to skip these two and we're going to do that front post single. So we're going to go in and go underneath that post, grab your yarn and do your single crochet. Chain one and then right behind it is that chain space that you created right here, right behind it. And you're going to do three double crochets in there. One two and three and then we're going to do that again we're going to skip these first two double crochets 
and around this third one we're going to go in the side and make sure that post is sitting on top of your hook. Grab the yarn and do a single crochet. Chain one, don't forget that chain one in between there. And then right behind there is the chain one we created in the previous row and we're going to put three double crochets in there. One, two, three. And then when you come to the end of your row, you'll jump across and you'll put a single crochet in that chain three. And there you have it. You'll just repeat that over and over again till you get to the length that you need it to be. I told you it was going to be really easy and it it's so easy, but it is so pretty when you get going and you start seeing that texture. Um, calling, I'm calling my blanket the Riptide Blanket. I, I just think it is so fitting. But go ahead and work up whatever you're going to work up with this. And then meet me back. Even if you it takes you, you know, a couple days or whatnot. Put it, put it on pause. Come back to it. And I'm going to show you the border I'm going to put on this. Now the border I'm doing is... It's more for a baby blanket, so if you're doing an adult blanket, feel free to find whatever border you want to put on, or you don't even have to put a border on it. You really don't have to. The edges stay pretty clean if you if you can see that. So uh, on any of the sides, they stay nice and clean, other than the very bottom uh, where you started at, and even that, you know, like where the chains are. But even that stays pretty clean. So you don't necessarily have to put a border on it. Uh, it's totally up to you. That's the fun thing about crochet is it's we use our own creativity. So um, like I said, if you want to do a baby blanket with me and you want to add this border, go ahead and get it worked up. Uh, put me on the back burner until you get it done. And then let's meet back up and I'm going to show you how to do this fun border. Okay, once you get it to whatever length you want it to be, this is what we're going to do. You can, you can still chain your three. One, two, three. Now, that's going to count as your first double crochet right there, okay? And what we're going to do, don't go into the stitch you're coming out of. You're going to go into the next one. And we're going to do one, Oops, my yarn came off. And we're going to do two, and we're going to do three. So technically, we have four double crochets in a row. I'm trying to make sure I'm in shot for you guys. So technically, we have four in a row. We have our chain three and three in a row. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, and you're going to turn. You're going to turn this so that you're looking at the back of it, okay? Now, we're going to slip stitch in the top of this chain three. So just count up, one, two, and we're going to slip stitch in the top of that chain three. So now we have this little opening here. We're going to turn our work and now we are going to put seven double crochets in around this these four chains so we're going to yarn over and we're going to go right into this space i'm not in shot we're going to work into this chain space that we created so you're going to yarn over and you're going to go in here and you're going to do seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, 
that's what we're starting with. So you get this little fan. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jump and we're going to put a double crochet into our next stitch here. Now we it's a little tricky because we've got we've got the chain spaces and stuff, but we're not going to worry about the chain spaces. We are literally just going to go into the stitch. So if you look here, this is where your single crochet is. It, it, this is the post here. So this is where your single crochet is. So we're just going to go, we're not going to worry about the chain space. We're just going to go a double crochet into that single crochet. And we're going to do four in a row. One, two, three, four. We're going to do that chain four again. Sorry, my yarn is, it's acting up. Needs a time out. <laughs> We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to turn and face the back of it again. But this time, we're not going to slip stitch here. We are going to come over here to where this chain space was. So where we worked those seven double crochets, we're going to come over here and we're going to pull the loop and slip stitch it here. And we're going to chain one and we're going to turn it back. So see what it does? It's going to, it's going to create this wave effect and they're going to kind of sit on top of each other. So now we're going to do that again. We're going to put the seven double crochets around this chain space again. So yarn over and go in and do seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven now I thought about doing one row a single crochet all the way around but because this is almost like two rows here the way we doing the border I didn't want to add any more because it's already going to give us extra around and the sides are nice and clean we should be able to find our spaces to work into so it, it'll work out it, it really will if you feel like you want to do a row of single crochet go ahead and do a row of single crochet around first and then come back and do do this with me but this is what we're gonna repeat is this so now we're gonna do four double crochets in a row again so we're gonna don't worry about the chain we're going to do a double crochet in that single crochet. One, two, three, and four. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to turn and face the back again. So you just have to turn like a piece of it. You don't have to turn the entire blanket because that would be kind of a pain, right? And then we're going to slip stitch from the previous chain space. So where we put the last seven, we're going to go through there. We're going to grab the yarn and we're going to slip stitch that. And we're going to chain one. And now we're going to turn it back where we're facing the front of it. And we're going to go ahead and put those seven double crochets in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven and then we're just gonna start again with four in a row 
double crochets, chain four, turn it, slip stitch it, chain one, turn it, and put the seven. Let me show you one more time just so I make sure you guys have this. We'll go over this one more time and then I'm going to let you guys go all the way around, okay? So you're going to yarn over, you're going to put your first double in that single right there, one, two, three, four, you're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, you're going to turn and face the back of it, you're going to go into the chain space from previous where you put seven double crochets and you're going to slip stitch that, you're going to chain one, you're going to flip it back so you're facing the front of it and you're going to put those seven double crochets in around the chain four. All right, so go ahead and get this side done and then I will meet you at the corner just so I can show you how that's going to work around the corners and then I'll let you go ahead and get your whole thing done. I'll meet you back. Okay, when you come up to the end here, you're going to have your single crochet in these two doubles, but we also have this chain three. We're still going to, we're going to do the four in a row and we're going to use the chain three as our fourth. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to go into that single crochet and do your first, your second, your third, and then you're going to put your fourth one right into this chain three here. So you're going to yarn over. And I'm going to go in the second chain here instead of because that top one for me is very tight and I don't feel like fighting with it. So you're still going to chain your four. One, two, three, four. You're still going to turn and you're just going to jump across to this last one just like you've been doing and do your slip stitch. Chain one and then do your seven. One, oops, one two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then now that we're, now we're going to be going across the side. Now remember, we worked this into this chain here. So don't worry about that. We're going to come down here and start in the rows. So go right past this and we're going to start again. We're going to put four in a row. One, then find your next row. Two, and then just follow that along. Three, four. And then start over again. Now, if this is bunching up too much on you here, you could always, because I'm, I'm noticing that now, you could always start your row here where the chain three is instead of jumping down. You can just start in the chain three because I think that's what I'm going to do. And then you just do what you did across this side along this side. Now, I'm going to let you know it's it's in uh, multiples of four, this border, just like um, the pattern was. But if you don't have the same amount of rows, you know, that is a multiple of four, you just kind of make it work at the end. So, like, say you have one stitch left at the end, you're going to put, or if you have three instead of four, you're going to put two double crochets in one stitch so that you can make it four. That's the only thing that you have to do is you just kind of adjust it to make it work. Because that's the only way really around that because when your pattern is in multiples of four, it makes it easy across the top and the bottom. But if you don't happen to have a multiple of four in rows, 
you just kind of adjust and make it work. And look at how pretty that border is going to be. All fanned out, waved. That's going to be pretty. So go ahead and get the rest of your sides done. And then I'll meet you back at the very end. And we'll close it because you got to do a little something special. A little something something to get it to go together and look clean. So... Go ahead and do the rest of the sides and when you get back up over here on this side and we need to attach it I'll show you how to do that I'll meet you back okay guys once you come up around and you get and you have this gap here we have to close the gap so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to this first double crochet under that first fan and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna slip stitch okay that's the first step now we're gonna go up here into the fan and this very first double crochet we're gonna insert and we're gonna turn don't do anything just leave it inserted and we're gonna turn and now like before we're going to go under here and into the previous chain space and we're going to grab a loop and we're going to pull it through to the front side and slip stitch that and now it all kind of comes together it's not going to be perfect i mean it's homemade nothing's ever perfect but at least now it comes together and you've got that that fan and it's laying on top of it a little bit let me get my hook out of the way here but see how it lays so now it's like every other corner <clears throat> excuse me so now you're all done you can chain your one and cut off and then tie it sew in all your ends and then you've got this pretty border I think this is a gorgeous border. I really do. On on a baby blanket. I mean, you could do it on a big blanket too, really. But I just think it makes such a pretty baby blanket border. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you were able to follow along, okay? I hope you had a real pretty blanket turnout. Don't forget to join us on Curiosity Crochet on Facebook. And you can always share your projects there and let us see what you came up with i'd love to see them uh don't forget to subscribe the button's right below the video on the right you do have to be signed in usually through your google account hit the notification bell so you're updated every time i post a new video and if you like this give it a big old thumbs up just so i know that you guys are enjoying my content and uh yeah i'll see you again in the next video Bye, guys.